I'm on a phone. <laughs> you hear it? Yeah. Oh, Niner. Change direction. Take off. The Niner. See us now. <laughs> and we the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Yo homie hearties, welcome back to another adventure with Pirate Family Fun and Learning. Today we are at the Museum of Flight. And if you have your own airplane, just come on by, right in the parking lot. They will park your airplane, put some fences around it, and then when you're ready to go, you just take right off. And you know, for those of us with cars, you just park here and you know, you don't get fencing or anything cool. But yeah, if you got your own airplane, just park right in the middle of the parking lot. And if you have a really big plane, you just get to park on the lawn here. That's a nice perk. Museum of Flight. Note, museum does not fly. So you don't want to actually hang on to one like this, huh? Does that look a little too scary? You just have to hang on really tight. You're not going to be a pioneer of aviation? I'll be your, I'll be your airplane. You Come on. on. Really tight. Ready? You're right. They already invented that. Now that seems like somebody can use it. Oh, that one you just have to light on flat. That that's easier. That's like the lazy yeah. airplane flying. That's not lazy enough. Not lazy enough. But you want first class. Yes. <laughs> so you need like a plush seat and like drink served to you and a meal and all that stuff. Yeah, orange juice and a champagne flute. We're gonna go see the space shuttle first thing. Yeah, then we can go inside some airplanes. So this is a cool walkway. We go across the street. Space shuttle, here we come. I hope we can pick up that music. You're gonna land the space shuttle safely there, huh? You're gonna crash, aren't you? Um, yep. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Ruh-roh. You're off course, you're off course. Oops, he didn't quite make it a successful landing. Now we're going inside of the model space shuttle. It's not a real one, right? It's not a real one. Oh, I didn't know the space shuttle had a gallery. Oh, this part's the space shuttle. I see. So this is the payload area. That's the satellite. Oh, and here's the manipulator arm that launches the satellite. That's like you think about going down I-5 The water's all over his face. <laughs> Here we have an airplane that got stung by a bee and got swelled up really big in the head. What? Yeah, that airplane got stung by a bee and swelled up really big in the head. That's a normal airplane. One that got stung by a bee. How do you know that? Swelled up in the head. That's what happens when you get stung by a bee. <laughs> I'm just joking. So this part here was inside of this airplane, which looks like this. Astronauts have to go through potty training all over again to use a space toilet. Because there's no gravity, the peepees doesn't just go down into a toilet. You gotta use a vacuum hose. And the poopoos comes out, it also needs to be vacuumed. 
away from me. I think it would just like sit there. This airplane apparently went, fell off a tree or something, broke a limb. So it's totally in a cast now. So here we have Air Force One. This is a retired one that four different presidents use. What, you can go on this one? We had, yeah, we're gonna go on this one. We had Eisenhower and Kennedy, Johnson and Nixon who all used this plane before it was retired. So we're gonna hop on board, show you around. All right, here we are inside Air Force One. And as you can see, it has a very vintage look. We've got sleeping quarters. Seriously, they sleep on the top. That is cool. And dangerous. Wow, would you pay extra to sleep on an airplane? No. Like, get rid of everyone's luggage, kick it all out, and just sleep in that overhead compartment? No, that's That awesome. would be cool. I love that. All right, and then here's where the president would actually sit. He had his own little office here with a phone. I think that was to call Batman. It totally looks like a old time prop. Let's check it out. Oh, a doggy door, cool. Dog can come in here. All right, and then we have some more communication equipment, FM radio phone. So also in here was a pipe rack for Kennedy, a hat rack for Johnson. And I don't know who the cup holders are for. This is the president's bathroom. President's bathroom. A sink, microwave. Escape route. Escape route. Escape route. Escape route. Always know where your escape routes are. And here is the communication station. Wow, look how many buttons are here. Whoa. That's a lot to keep track of. I guess that's for sending all of your encoded messages. And then here we have the cockpit. There's even more buttons. Yeah. Do you see how when you move those, you're actually turning this here? That is really cool. All right. I think we'll get you your pilot's license. Hi, Dad. Here, let me see. I'm gonna use my... Okay, so the yaw makes it move left or right. And that's your foot pedals. This makes you go up or down, that's the pitch. And going back and forth, that's rolling, you can roll. So those are the three main ways you control a plane. Roll, pitch, and yaw. Should I cock the propeller? Right, are you ready to take off? You ready to take off? What? What? <laughs> are you flying an airplane? This is your captain speaking. This here's a prototype for a car airplane. That's not a car at all. That's not an airplane. It's kind of neither and both. You would need very wide lanes for this to work. Oh, I see. The wings would detach and be carried along behind it like a trailer. Then you'd attach them and try to fly. I suppose that makes a little more sense. So that's what it looked like assembled. And you could take it apart and put it behind you as a trailer. Kind of like that one, I guess. Cool. You left the other half of your plane behind you. It's like missing. <laughs> it's a three-seater. <laughs> They pack them in tight nowadays. Airlines are suffering everywhere. Gotta squeeze them in. So this is the nose section of this plane here, which is the fastest jet ever. It traveled at more than three times the speed of sound. A speed record set in 1976 that still stands today. This could easily be the Batmobile. If he just puts wheels on it. <laughs> you gotta put the lid down before you fly. And here we can see the entire plane, not just the cockpit. They don't let you fly in this one, even for a pretend. 
But you can see how big it is and how Batman-y it is too. We're going into space. Cool. Do you feel weightless yet? No. <laughs> You're pretty brave. You're walking on glass. Whoa. Most children when they come in here are not really sure about walking on glass. What do you think? You, you fall through that hole? If you're on the International Space Station right now and you're looking down at the Earth, that's what the Earth would look like. Oh, that's cool. And if you were in space <laughs> right now, if you're an astronaut, your hair would be standing straight up. You know that? <laughs> That'd be cool. Here's a picture of Sunita Williams. She was an astronaut. She's exercising. And you can see her oh, hair yeah. standing straight up. That's where you would sleep in space. Oh, because that. in space you don't really lay down because you're weightless. Because there's zero gravity. So you sleep vertically in space. You just sleep standing up. You just strap yourself in there? Yep. Like a sleeping bag? Kind of like sleeping cool. in a telephone booth. <laughs> She's exercising on a treadmill. Oh, is that the treadmill this is there? The treadmill set. You pull it down oh, and you put cool. a uh, harness on your shoulders and you strap yourself on and you would exercise. Doesn't really make any difference whether you're looking up or down in space. Yeah. It's zero gravity, <laughs> so it makes no difference. Dun, dun, dun. This is us in the air control tower. Look at all those little dots. That's all the airplanes flying right now. That's a lot of airplanes. How do they not crash into each other? Thank you, air traffic controllers. That's a Boeing 737-900 and a Boeing 767-300F. Are you getting this, kids at home? There will be a quiz later. That's a Canadair CT-133 Silver Star, but we all know that. So this pushes air One. over the plane. Pushing it up. Keep pushing up until it gets all the way to seven. Until it starts flying. It takes all and the then it seven takes off. Flying. Oh my goodness. But now, while it's flying, it doesn't need as much airspeed. Look, we make it go down. Interesting. And it still keeps flying until you get to two. It'll stay flying until two. And, all right, right there. Perfect. That's what you look like with a mustache. <laughs> hey, that's you. You're behind the scenes. Oh, the great and powerful eyes exposed. <laughs> All right, you got some astronaut ice cream. Cookies and cream ice cream sandwich. Freeze dried. It's crunchy like a cookie. Delicious. Yep. Try the ice cream part. And it tastes like ice cream. Yeah. No, it's like astronaut. We had a great time, Museum of Flight. We're gonna say goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Nice flight. <laughs> you yeah. Throw yours, throw yours. Throw yours to me. Throw your jelly flyer. Woo! <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I guess they're towing it away. Awkward. Just don't park in the clearly marked car area. Exactly, planes. Think about it. Hey look, we're taking off too.